This is an image of the surface of Mars, taken by NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft in 1976. The picture is a triumph of human innovation. We built a piece of technology that traveled all the way to Mars, took a picture, and beamed it all the way back to Earth. But that's not why this picture is famous. It's famous because we all see a face, right there, staring back at us. It's known as the face on Mars, and when NASA released it to the world, a lot of people freaked out. There's still an entire conspiracy theory section of the internet devoted to it. But all of that is pretty easy to debunk. This is not an ancient monument to some Martian god, nor is it the mask left over from a giant race of aliens. This face was created because of a combination of shadows and missing image data, known as bit errors, which comes with the territory when beaming images back from hundreds of thousands of miles away. These bit errors helped form that deep and creepy eye socket. You can see these black holes all over the image. But releasing this simple explanation didn't stop people from freaking out. So NASA returned to Mars to capture more updated images, in part to silence the skeptics. Here's a photo from 1998, and here's another one from 2001. No face, no monument, no proof of alien life, just a boring Mars hill, something many NASA scientists compare to the buttes of the American West. But there's still something more going on here than missing pixels and dark shadows, something called pareidolia. It's the phenomenon of finding meaning in an image or sound where that meaning doesn't exist, like animals in the clouds, profiles in rocks, or satanic messages in pop songs. This happens in part because people see and hear what they want to see and hear. And people really want there to be aliens. This has been going on for years. Nikola Tesla even claimed to hear communications from the Red Planet. People today still scour Mars rover photos for any proof of alien life. It's hard work, and it has given us a lot of crazy conspiracies to deal with. There's the Mars iguana, an ancient helmet, and the finger bone of a deceased alien. And I say it's hard work, because when NASA delivers high-resolution images like this, someone has to meticulously scour them, zooming in until they find their proof. Be it an artifact, a spaceman, or the ruins of a civilization. Or this guy. Wait, that is definitely a guy walking on Mars. Mars has a Sasquatch. This is all the conspiracy theories rolled into one. This Happened Here aims to share compelling photos and the stories behind them. If you liked this video, be sure to watch this one on what it's like to take a selfie on the edge of space. Really, in the spacesuit, it was definitely quiet. And I could look up to the blackness of sky. Thanks for watching.